In the past, the number of displays that a computer could output to was often limited by the number of available output ports on the computer or its graphics card. But with the new Apple Silicon computers, Apple now limits the number of displays that can be connected to their Mac computers. I understand the performance reasons for this, but sometimes it's very inconvenient. My MacBook Air, for example, is a super capable machine with its M2 chip, but it only supports a single external display. This gives me my main output from ProPresenter, but leaves me without a stage display. So I have a solution for you. The Blackmagic Monitor 3G gets us around the display limitations on Mac silicon computers. So the box is a classic Blackmagic design. The device is super secure in there, so if I just flip this open, we can now see the device right inside of here. So this device only comes with the Monitor 3G. You're gonna have to order a USB-C cable separately, but be sure that the cable you get is a Thunderbolt cable. USB-C is just the connector. But if your cable you get is just for charging devices and it's not like a Thunderbolt 3 or a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C cable, then it's not going to work with this device. I have an Apple Thunderbolt cable here, so I'll go ahead and use this, this cable to connect my device here to my computer. This device has one USB-C connector to connect to the computer. Then on the other side, it has a full-size HDMI and a full-size SDI output connector, which means that you never need additional converters. You can also connect a display to each of these outputs, but the image is mirrored on both outputs. Okay, let's take one step back and look at how this device works, because connecting this to my computer will not give me additional displays through the Mac's operating system, OS X. So that is why this works. Here's what I mean by that. When I connect an HDMI display to my MacBook Air via this converter, OS X automatically detects a new display has been connected. But if I were to connect a second display, nothing happens. This MacBook Air with its M2 chip only supports two displays and the built-in display counts as one of them. So connecting this Blackmagic Monitor 3G actually acts like a digital display, not like a native display that can be configured through OS X. That means we can't drag applications between displays and to make this work, we also are gonna need some software. Let's open up blackmagic.com, then go to support. And now we're gonna type in the name of the device in the search by model. And we're gonna click Ultra Studio 3G, there you go. And now I'm gonna scroll down and in the left column under latest downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and download the desktop video in whichever version number you're on, not the SDK, but the regular one. Now go ahead and register your device if this is your first time downloading the software, or if not, in the bottom left, you can just click download now if you've already registered the device. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it on your computer. And once completed, you can go to applications, click here, and click here. And now you can see the device has showed up on my computer. Okay, so let's look at some troubleshooting because even if you've likely done everything correct, it's very likely the device won't show up in the software yet. So the thing you're more than likely gonna have to do is go to the Apple system settings. Now go down to privacy and security and then scroll down. So typically there is a security setting in here that says, hey, this is software, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's been installed from wherever. So uh, you're gonna have to hit allow and then you're probably gonna have to reboot the computer at least one more time and now it should pop up on your desktop video. So now that we know this device is a little different than a typical display and that we can't drag programs to this display, let's go ahead and assign an output to this display. So ProPresenter is a presentation software that I talk a lot about on this channel. Pro7 can send the same content to multiple outputs in different formats. This means that we can have our song lyrics on the main screen with a motion background, and then the same lyric slide set as lower thirds for our stream output, and a third output for the stage display for our band. The stage display layout includes the current and next slide text, timers, clocks, and other relevant information such as song chords for the worship team or for the band. So in our screen configuration window in ProPresenter, here's my main output, and here I can go ahead and assign my an output. Let's assign this uh, connected display. And now we've got output, great. So now if I go down to my stream out, I can see that this is being sent over an NDI link. And now if I go to my stage screen, I can see it's not connected to anything, but now there's a new section. Blackmagic has the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G right here, and I can go and select any resolution. And now our output is assigned to there. 
So it's literally that simple to assign. And now you can see both my main output and my stage display are coming from this MacBook Air. So not all software supports this type of display output assignment. So this really isn't a perfect solution for every application. Additionally, it's important to keep an eye on performance. This one is really important. Running multiple outputs can be taxing on your computer. Overall, this Blackmagic Monitor 3G is a great solution, but I would not rely on this device, for this purpose at least. It doesn't cost that much more to get the properly powered computer that can deliver all the outputs that you need. But in a pinch, this is a great solution. Thank you for checking out this video. Please subscribe to my channel for, to see more useful videos. Check out these relevant videos on your way out, and I will see you next time. Bye.